Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we want to talk about Uniflow scavenger. Before beginning the video, I want to tell you that this is the third part of the turbocharger series. Before the two part, I have explained scavenging, supercharging. In second part, I have explained loop scavenging and cross scavenging. This is the third part in which I am explaining Uniflow scavenging. So, before bringing the video, I request all of you who have not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button and please ring the bell so that you get notification whenever I upload a new video. I upload new video on every Tuesday at 10 am. So let's begin the today video of Uniflow scavenging. So what is Uniflow scavenging? In Uniflow scavenging, air is admitted through port at the lower end of the cylinder and it sweeps upward toward the exhaust valve located at the top of the cylinder. So basically what is happening? The incoming scavenger is coming from here and the exhaust port concept the exhaust port concept which was there in cross and loop scavenging was removed and a fresh exhaust valve was installed at the center so the incoming fresh air is coming here is driving out the remaining exhaust gas through this exhaust valve while it is open to here Okay, almost complete evacuation of the residual gas is obtained. Very important. So, what advantage the uniflow scavenging is giving is that it helps to ensure that the almost complete evacuation of the remainder exhaust gas is been formed. Air flow in the stream which slightly induce rotational motion by the inclined scavenge port very important the inclined scavenge port here help to induce a rotational motion why the rotational motion is important i will tell you because rotational motion help to ensure that it better mix with the incoming fuel and hence as the mixing will be good the amount of combustion and the power produced will also be enhanced therefore a slightly induced rotational motion is very important for the scavenging process and how it is been help induced it is help with the help of a scavenge port okay the charge air cooler is not allowed to change the direction hence intermixing is minimum so what is happening the incoming air is coming is now as you can see the direction is from down to up so as there is no change in direction as it was happening in loop and cross scavenging so the chances of intermixing is removed so in a synopsis if someone say what are the advantage of universe scavenging the first thing you should say chances of intermixing in loop scavenging is minimum as the incoming air is moving in one direction second the complete evacuation of the exhaust gas is happening third the incoming air is been rotated slightly with the help of scavenge port which increases the combustion efficiency by ensuring better mixing with the fill okay the scavenge efficiency is the highest it is possible to close exhaust valve quickly after scavenge port close to prevent undue loss of charge very easy means as the scavenge port and the exhaust valve are two separate things so the control is better and if we close the exhaust valve instantaneously as soon as the scavenge port is closed the combustion 
efficiency will be highest. Although loss of charges is unavoidable, but cooling effect of the air passing over the liner surface has result of keeping mean cycle temperature low. Okay. Now let's see what are the disadvantages of the uniflow scavenging. More maintenance. As you can see, the exhaust wall addition is here, so it needs to be maintained after interval period of time. Hence, the maintenance is increased. Power loss due to increased running gear. Now, very important thing. It's a hypothetically wrong, wrongly said, but as in uniflow and crossflow, the turbocharger was not there. Not there. Or you can say it was if it is there, it is not so much efficient. But the turbocharger is very prominent concept in a uniflow scavenging and is very efficient. Therefore, as the power loss is though increased because of increased running gear, but the overall efficiency of engine is increased. Idle fuel valve center location is loss very important point normally in earlier engine what used to happen the center position was dedicated to the fuel injector but as the exhaust valve has taken the place of the fuel injector so now the fuel injector are placed in a slightly inclined here and here okay so this is the third point now as i was telling you about the scavenge port inducing rotational motion now in this video or in this picture you can see this is the scavenge port of a uniflow engine and you can see it has been cut in such a way so that the incoming air will induce slightly rotational motion like this okay and now the cut is also beneficial for piston ring inspection and scavenge inspection over a monthly period of time to ensure that the ring condition the piston condition the liner condition the lubricator condition is okay so let's see if somebody asks you why the scavenge port is cut like this so you should first say because to induce rotational motion which will ensure better mixing of air and which will help the air having rotational energy to mix better with the fuel to generate overall more power in a combustion cycle. Second, it provides access for inspection of the piston in condition, piston, liner and lubricator. Okay, so I hope in this video the concept of universe scavenging is clear. If you have any doubt, Please leave your comment. I will surely reply to that. If you like the video, please do share and subscribe. Please friend, do share and keep us encouraging. Thank you friend. Have a good day. Bye.